Hey everybody, welcome to another Fit Tip Tuesday. This is another subscriber's Q&A, and I was kind of actually surprised at the answer because I had to sort of research the question and then come up with the answer. So the question is, if I have a significant amount of length to remove from a ready-to-wear top, and we shorten the shoulder a significant amount, does that affect the sleeve cap? And the answer is yes. So what I did here to figure out this, this little puzzle is I took one of my shirts that didn't have a sleeve on yet, and I drew the line showing where I would have to trim it off to shorten the shoulder an inch. So you can see here, I started down here and I went up to the shoulder. And then in the back, I, I joined my front guideline with my back guideline. So that's what I would have to get rid of if I was shortening my shoulder an inch. So I looked at these lines and in the front, honestly, if you asked me, I would have said, oh, they're very similar in length. But then I measured them, and the original edge of the sleeve measured six and a quarter inches is my or original armhole. And then when I measured the line, it was six and a half. So this is plus a quarter inch in the front. So I've lengthened the front armhole by a quarter of an inch. And the same thing happened in the back. So I measured from, you know, from my original to the shoulder was six and a quarter. And then my new line was six and a half. So what does that mean? That means my armhole is now a half an inch bigger. If your sleeve cap has more than an inch or an inch of ease, you can probably still put that sleeve back in. You'll just have a half an inch less of ease in the front and the back, but there'll still be a little bit of ease in the cap. Your other option is you can increase the length of your sleeve cap on your existing sleeve. So to prepare that, take your underarm seam apart a little bit, or maybe almost all the way, so you can lay the sleeve cap flat on the table. I don't have a fabric sleeve cap, or a fabric sleeve here to show you, but I'm gonna show you on a sleeve pattern. So how did the armhole get longer? Changing the shape of the armhole made the armhole longer. So you can do the same thing to your fabric sleeve. So we're gonna pretend this is a fabric sleeve. If I measure, for example, from my underarm seam to my notch, right, so I'm gonna to measure to the middle of those two notches is four and a half inches. If I were to draw a little bit more of a curve in this portion of my sleeve. And this portion of the sleeve is known as the wing. So if I dig it out a little bit more, like that, I can increase the length a little bit. So let's measure it now. All right, so now that added an eighth So I can actually play with my ruler here and bend it so I can add that quarter. So let me see. If I bend it like this, now that measures um, four and three quarters instead of four and a half. So I can just sort of trace that. Okay, so if I do something like this, Maybe just, you know, just sort of ease that in like that. Now I've got more length there. Okay, so I've added plus one quarter inch there. And I can do the same thing in the front. 
So that's how you can even up your ease in the cap versus your new lengthened armhole on your ready-to-wear top. Is this ideal? It may or may not be. I recommend um, trying it. So don't cut it out. Simply mark your stitching, your new stitching line on your fabric, you know, and then blend it with the original stitching line like this, you know, and then of course you would be doing it over here too, you know, something like that. Um, you know, and then just try it and see if it fits and hangs nicely. And if it does, then you can trim out the extra fabric. But this would be a way that you could lengthen your sleeve cap on your ready-to-wear um, garment when the shoulder is hanging off your shoulder. All right, so that's how you can add your extra length, but then also try it before you trim because it may be better to set it back in with a little bit less ease than taking out this room here. Having a more hollowed area here will create more of a, a fitted sleeve. Okay, so taking out this fabric right here will create a little bit more of a fitted looking sleeve. So if your sleeve was fitting loosely, through the you know underarm area, then this would work great. And you can get rid of this fabric and you'd have a more tailored looking sleeve. If you already have a fitted sleeve, doing this might make it too tight. But remember, we're working with a sleeve that's already cut out and you can't make it bigger. So the only way to make the sleeve cap bigger is to scoop it out a little bit. All right, so, so that's how you would shorten your shoulder by just redrawing in, and that's how you would lengthen your cap by scooping it out a little bit. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions about adjusting your sleeve on a ready-to-wear garment because you had to take in the sh shoulder a significant amount to get it on your shoulder, you know, please let me know. I hope you're enjoying these Fit Tip Tuesday videos. If you are, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell because then you'll get notified every time I upload something new. And just as a reminder, I'm starting the bathrobe sew along on Friday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time live during Fab Fit Friday. I have a link in the description below this video if you wanna grab your copy of the um, mom's house coat pattern, which is what I'm gonna be using. It's in the description below and it's actually on sale. The PDF is on sale through the start of the sew along. So I hope I will see you on Friday for the, um, the start of the bathrobe sew along. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next week for another Fit Tip Tuesday.